gales of laughter predicted. Gales of laughter happened already. What can I mean? I am, of course, referring to Rusty, and it's great to have you back amongst us, Rusty. You're more than welcome. Thank you, Henry. I meant Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get my hair cut. Yeah. <laughs> no. Good morning, everybody. It's great to be back. Absolutely. I feel like um, the return of the prodigal. But the great honour is we've got Nigel Horton in the kitchen this morning, ah, which on, is fantastic. Good. And so what else could we make for lovely Nigel? Say hello, Nigel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 <laughs> Get on with the cooking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's back. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> Hello. So, um, guess what we've got to make today? What could be better than cabinet pudding? <laughs> You've been at the Red Sea now. I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> so we're going to do cabinet pudding. Do you know, Nigel, I searched yeah. everywhere for this recipe. Yeah. Because, of course, we don't have cabinet pudding in Jamaica. Don't you? you? Know? <laughs> do you think you will after this? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. We've, yeah. I've found a lovely recipe which is from 1937. So it's a good old one. And I've got a basic recipe. Yeah. And I've, of course, naturally, I've put some things together to uh, put it my own way. Absolutely. But if you'd like to get your pen and paper, paper as well, uh, Nigel's got the recipe. And he's not, are you going to read it I'm out? I'm going to read it out, yeah. Oh, super. See, the, the recipe is um, very easy. It's like making an egg custard. So if you shoot up, yeah, I'll... Uh, quarter of it. <laughs> Half a pound of old bread. <laughs> So half a pound of Savoy biscuits or sponge cake. Or sponge cake. Is that or what that bread. Is? That's it. Or oh, bread. So yeah. that's there's your sponge cake. This is some old dry sponge cake I've got here. Um, that's what we were going to be getting. Yes. <laughs> you change your mind. Yes. Yeah. And also some boudoir Savoy biscuits, ah. which are here. All right. So that's your basic things. And three quarters of a pint of milk. Three quarters of a pint of milk is in this. So there we are. And we've got four eggs. You're just going to stand next to each other, you're going to mix them. I'm going to, I'm going to, whilst you're yeah. telling me. Oh, I can go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand them together. <laughs> half, gonna... half a teaspoon of almond essence. Which we've got here, which we yeah. judge. Great. Am I giving M you fun cameras? I'm back. One and a half. Two ounces of cherry. Yes, to make the teeth rot. Well, yeah, one and a half ounces of caster sugar. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. lovely. Okay, so you've got basically that if we've got time after we'll come back to it if you haven't had time to write it down please start sending the letters in because i love reading them and you have that now we've got four eggs here look nigel well, it doesn't do say anything about eggs here it should do there's four <laughs> eggs in it mentioned. <laughs> they're not mentioned oh well well it's got four eggs in because basically it's, you can break some do you okay. cook at home yeah you do yeah, yeah um so we've got four eggs and this is like an egg custard, if you've ever made an egg custard at home. Uh -huh. And you simply whisk... Are we on the right camera this time? <laughs> there you go. You whisk Oops. them off. Oh, it's flying it's egg as well. all over. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. Yeah. There's your egg. Right. And if you pour me the, the milk in... What, all of it? All of it. There's three Just quarters of a pint in there. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm getting them all done up here with egg and milk. So, look, you put... All that's in. We've got four minutes, folks, so I don't know who can make this in four minutes. So we, we have the egg, and then we put the sugar in, one and a half ounces of sugar. Right. There. So really, it's basically an egg custard, and this is your almond essence, or your rum essence, or whatever you have, and you mix all that in, Magic. and that's simple as that. that. Yeah. Lovely. You see? It's, this yeah. is... Prove that you cook it home because he's clearing away. <laughs> I'm doing the washing up in the background. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> so that's the basic mixture. Now you need to have a well greased uh, basin yeah. or bowl. It's got to be really well greased yeah. because of the decoration. Stick, yeah. Yes, right. you've got to do. Now you can use bread on this because in the olden days they used to use bread as well. So olden days. I'm sorry if you were born near around 1937. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> So you use I was a war baby. Oh, you see. <laughs> yeah. So they used to actually feed people these sort of things to fatten the babies up. You see, no, they wouldn't fatten them up on that. No. <laughs> what I'm showing you this for is, can you see my lovely decoration? I take no morning to do that, and this is the idea. I'm just showing you because it wouldn't artistic. show. <laughs> it wouldn't show very well in the bottom of that. So you're going to put a design on the bottom of the bowl, really. Oh, see so when you take so, it so out. That yeah, right. See, right. he's done this before. Now you you put 
you, you, now I've got a bowl under here to show you. See, I've been very busy this morning and people turn up to me in the street and say, you don't do all that cooking, do you, Rusty? Well, I do. I do it all myself. So you line your bowl. This is only a small example. You line your bowl with the Savoy biscuits. You can either, with your decoration, of course, you can either put the three minutes, you can either put the biscuits <laughs> around the side like that and keep on putting the meringue on. <laughs> Get on with it. Come on, I'll time it. You time me. <laughs> and you lay the biscuits and the cake and sponge all around. Then you pour this mixture on top of it now don't say gosh she's not going to get all that mixture in because i'm not it's just to show you are we going to feed this to mrs thatcher when she yes <laughs> i've been a pudding but, but of course <laughs> so you when you fill the bowl uh. with the mixture you can then put if you like you can add to it improvise you can put anything you like such as sultanas mm. or anything any fruits or I've put mango in mine, the actual finished mango's one. Mango's best, yes. Yes, oh, mango's oh, lovely. Wonderful. That's another tale. So there you are, put mango in there. Now, of course, I've got a finished one, which I made. You yes. haven't put the rum in yet, have you? No, I haven't put the rum in there. But you see, because it's so plain, there is my finished one. Beautiful. Ta-da! There you are. And if you want to make it really nice and uh, for the dinner table, why not just garnish it up with some fresh cream or something like that? Make it really pretty, you see? Uh, fresh cream does make that extra difference and uh, trust the one at the front to look a mess. And there you are. <laughs> and you just <laughs> and uh, there you are. You finish That's it all wonderful. up. You can do the, the side up. Oops. Then... It looks like one Geraldine McKeown's hat, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> so then you see, because it's lovely, we're going to cut it. And because I'm back home, well, I call this home because I'm back home. I hope you're going to try this. Absolutely. <laughs> have I got to do it on camera? <laughs> yes, you have. You've got to tell the world how lovely it is. Might be horrible this mm. morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. My cooking's lovely. I know it so, is. So there it is. Actually, I put rum piece, in that. Can it? I just show camera this? Absolutely. How lovely it looks. Which camera, folks? I've well, got the right one. The one with the red light. Oh, that's it. Pick one. There's about ten cameras in this place. <laughs> See, that's how it is. But keep the camera on me, my dears. Hang on, keep it on. Guess oh, what's God. going? <laughs> Guess what? You haven't got. No, no, I can't hear them say a few words. <laughs> 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 and I, you see, I, I heard you were making a cabinet pudding. <laughs> and I heard you were putting oh, in please. three quarters of a pint of milk. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's far too much liquid. Because <laughs> I don't like my cabinet pudding wet. <laughs> Did I you know that? <laughs> you know, I, I've come all the way from Indonesia <laughs> this morning <laughs> just to check this very You Do please sit down, oh, Prime Minister. Oh, wow. Very what? nice to see you. Again. <laughs> you rotters! <laughs> well, you're brilliant. Look, put some rum on it. Have you got the again? They, they, no, they haven't provided me with a spoon. No, yet. Oh, I love to taste it. You've got all know. the duty free on there. Oh, <laughs> Mike, did you know about all this? <laughs> you see, they were bound to do something rotten oh, to me this morning. Oh, are, goodness, you are you funny. <laughs> You see what it's like to be back home. It's great here, great fun. <laughs> Nigel, thank, thank you very much thank indeed. You, thank you, Mrs. T. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> do, do a little bit. Lower. lower. <laughs> and, uh, Rusty, Prime Minister Nigel, can you please come over here? We must have a yes, chat. This absolutely. is a very important moment for us. Yes, Minister. <laughs>